Welcome back. Today I'm going to be drawing Eevee from Pokemon. So let's get started. First going to start with an oval shape. Slightly slanted in toward each other and then an oval shape on this side. And then we'll put two oval shapes inside those larger oval shapes. And then just a curved line underneath and we'll come back and add that color. I'm actually going to put two curved lines that connect down to the outsides there, too. Okay, in the center of the eyes, I'm just going to add a short horizontal line for the nose and then come across a little lower with a slightly curved line on the ends and then rounding out a curved line for the bottom of the mouth. And we'll put two curved lines on the ends there for the tongue and again we'll come back and color the tongue in we can shade this in if you have a, a darker marker um, at this point or if you're drawing in a marker you can shade this in okay starting from the outside of this eye we're gonna add kind of a u shape or a curved line that goes all the way around for the outline of evie's face and we're gonna stop about even on both sides and then we're gonna add some elongated diamond shape so we're going to come out and then in round the top out and then in and you want to make those kind of symmetrical this one will kind of have a little bit more slanted at an angle again similar shape just slanted more okay let's make the detail for the inside of the ear which again is going to be a smaller kind of elongated diamond shape like we had just made and we'll add some details to the bottom here, which will be a zigzag line. And we'll add another kind of a zigzag line in here. Okay, same thing on this side. Okay, for the top of Evie's head, we're just gonna add some zigzag lines coming all the way across. And two curved lines here and here for eyebrows. All right, so this is a fun part. It's a curved line to a zigzag all the way around to the center. It kind of drops a little lower. And now we're going to zigzag the opposite direction to follow the contour of the face shape here, which kind of curves around. And we'll bring this out to about here. A couple more zigzags. I'm going to put one in this way and change the direction and just bring it back up to the face. And now in the center here, if we drop down um, the center of the face, I'm going to add a slight diagonal line with some bump lines on the bottom. One, two, three. And that's going to be for his paw and then bring up that line at a diagonal out. So same thing on the other side. Again, slight diagonal down. One, two and three and then we'll bring that up at a slight diagonal out the opposite way two curved lines around for the hind legs and then we're going to drop in an oval shape for the hind foot with two paw lines we can bring these up a little bit further for a little bit added detail connect this underneath for the body and on the same side same side uh, same thing on this side we're gonna make a curved line that comes around and we'll kind of keep that um, even with the other side. And again, even with this foot, and we'll drop in a oval shape with two curved lines there for the paws. And let's bring around the curved line for the tail. This is gonna be kind of a, a wavy line actually. So we're gonna bring it out, around, up to a zigzag, one, two, three and then bring it back in toward the head with some zigzag shapes here for some contrast in color. So that's going to be the drawing portion of, <clears throat> of Eevee. I'm just going to fill in some of this, this area here so it's a little broader as I add color or when I add color. Same thing on this side. Okay, we're going to leave these oval shapes open 
when we add color too, because those are the highlights for the eyes. Right, I'm first going to start with a dark color for the eyes, so that's going to be black, and again, just going over that, that area there. It's a little broader tip, that's why I'm using this marker rather than the Sharpie that I had just outlined the drawing with. So again, I always recommend outlining your drawing. Uh, it just adds so much more emphasis to the drawing, um, really brings it out. Also, we're gonna add this black color to the inside, lower inside portion of the ear on both sides. some pink to the tongue area. I hope you guys are enjoying these drawings and drawing along with me. Um, I see a lot of your work and it's really so cool to see all of that. If you're enjoying them, drop a like as well. Um, it really shows me that you like the video and to, you know, to continue drawing some more pieces like this. I'm gonna add a magenta color to this portion of the eye, so that'll be where the eye color is the other parts of the eye or the other part of the eye is the um the pupil so that's the the iris part which is the color all right i'm going to get into a darker brown and i'm going to fill in the top portion of the ear or the inner ear sides. Okay, now I'm going to go to a kind of a goldish color and this is going to be for the remainder of the color that we're going to add. It's really a very simple color palette for Eevee. So it's kind of like a tan or a light brown here that I'm using. I just had um, the Prisma marker that I use is called Goldenrod. If you don't have that, it's completely fine. Just use maybe a lighter brown and then a darker brown for that the inside of the ear. area here, the eyes, the mouth, and then I'll open up the broader side of the marker to fill in the, the larger area for the face and the body. part here is going to be a lighter color um, so I'm actually like a cream color or you can just leave it white as well that works
I'm gonna open up the broader tip to the marker and just kind of fill in this open area. Same thing with the marker stroke, just going back and forth to fill in that space, following the contour. And that is going to, for the most part, be the full drawing. I do have a cream color marker that I can add to this lighter section of the fur and then the tail. So I'm going to head, gonna go ahead and just fill that in quickly. And this color marker that I'm using is called Deco Yellow. Or if you have a cream, or like a yet lighter yellow, or like I said before, just to leave it white, that works as well. And that's going to conclude the drawing for Eevee. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give him a try. He's a lot of fun. Bye.